Hi, my name's Craig, training manager at Symmetry, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'll be talking about invent importing Inventash files in Autodesk Showcase. I'll also show you how to change the background so they look a lot more realistic and in place, and how to create a very, very simple movie. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. I have a recognizable model here in Inventor. What I would like to do is bring this into Autodesk Showcase to allow me to create some better visuals than I'm capable inside of Inventor. So I'll just switch to Showcase and I will import from files. Go away, find me file. and press import. Now at this point you should navigate to your Autodesk Inventor project file for when you're using large assembly files so that files don't go missing and showcase knows where everything is. Now depending on how big your assembly file is this may take some time when you're bringing models into showcase. Once it's in it'll perform very quickly but it can take some time. So there you go, I have my Inventor file imported into Showcase. Now the Zoom tools and Orbit tools work the same as they do in Inventor. So zoom up and down using your wheel, use your shift and middle mouse button and it will orbit the same as it does in Inventor. You can also use your view cube to go to your orthographic and your isometric views. You can also hold your mouse key down on the view cube and it will allow you to orbit there as well. Now you will notice when you first go into showcase you don't get any menu files so you need to press the downward arrow there to activate the menu files. So what I would like to do is bring in some backgrounds so if I just go into appearance here and press the lighting environment library you can just press E and it will bring the library up here. Now, I can go and pick any of these backgrounds that I've got here. So I'll go into the, the hardwood. Now, as long as I've brought my, as long as I modeled correctly in Inventor using the origins, you should find that the Inventor model comes in at the floor. Don't worry if it doesn't, you can move your model around to get it onto the floor. Now, that looks all right. What you'll also notice that you will get the reflections from any reflective materials you've brought in from Inventor directly from the background. So if I go in and use a different background, like Stuttgart for example, you will say, see the reflections of the actual background in the reflective materials there. Now you've seen me do this live and I hope you'll agree, in a very short space of time you've created a really realistic looking model in place in an environment. Now I'll just use a different background now. I'll go into one of my favorite ones here, which is the country road. And it looks rather fantastic. I hope we agree. Now, if I just go into story here and go into camera shots, you will notice that view representations that you created in Inventor also come through. So, I can switch to a different environments there. You'll also get a very small tracking view like that. I will show you in different videos how to create different camera shots, orbits, flybys, etc. Now, what I would like to do is create a very small movie that I can share with my colleagues or display on the internet or my website. So I'm just going to use this track left that I've got here. I maybe just want to go through to me different views as well. So while it's there, just go into File and Publish Movie. We've got some preset sizes that you can use. Okay, depending on what you're actually going to display this on. 
you can also tell it what type of file that you want to use. So I'm going to use an AVI file. Now, if you only want to copy this onto your hard drive, make sure you change it to local only. If you've got copy to cloud on, it will copy that to your Autodesk 360 account as long as you've, you've logged in and you've got the available space there. So all I would need to do now is prep, press publish movie. It'll go away and create the file. Now th this is where this is different to something like Autodesk Studio Studio Max, where it doesn't actually need to take time to render. So just give it a couple of seconds and it will save the movie file. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you agree with me that Autodesk Showcase is a fantastic product creating stunning visuals in a very short space of time. Please follow me on Twitter. Our address there is at Symmetry Training. It will show you our information about our courses and special offers and some lots of Autodesk information as well. You can also contact us via email at training at symmetry.co.uk. Thanks. I hope to see you again.